Hello, I'm Pavel, software engineer from Hamburg. Today I'm going to show you how to build an AI-powered chat application. In app, you can set an AI persona for your chat, as well as sending a message. When you send a message, you get a streaming response back. It auto scrolls on the message. Chat has a memory of current conversation. You can start a new chat with different personality. When you send a message, you get a nice streaming response again. architecture. The goal was to have as little setup as possible. That's why I'm using Next.js. User input gets posted to API chat route, where prompt and conversation chain are created. Then the response from large language model is returned to the client as server sent events. Server sent events are unidirectional and work over HTTP. If you need bidirectional communication, use WebSockets, but remember, it will make your backend stay cold. Now, project setup. Copy the project setup command, paste it, and run it. It initializes project in chat folder. And after some time, you will be able to open it. The setup is done. You can open newly created folder with your favorite editor. Now you can set your OpenAI API key in .env.local file. And you can run npm run dev. Now application is available on the localhost. Let's go back to the editor and take a look at React components that we have. First, we have home component on server side, which renders chat component on the client side, as well as chat message component, which is responsible for displaying individual message in the chat. Now let's take a look at the API. We have an API post chat route, which is responsible for sending event stream to the client. Now let's do a deep dive for, on what happens when you hit the send button. As you can see, it is a controlled input. When you click submit button, handle submit callback is called. There are two main points in handle submit. First point is where we send all the user input to the API chat route with post request. And the second point is where we decode individual chunk and display it immediately on the screen, which gives us nice typing effect. Now let's click send button. And go back to code editing. As you can see, we're passing user input to the API chat route and getting a stream response, which we are decoding and updating individual chunk by chunk. You can see that we are immediately displaying any message that we received from the language model. And this process will continue until we displayed all of it. Now we will be looking into API chat route. We get the response body and we are constructing past messages array, which serves as the large language model short term memory. Call chain is a function to illustrate that you don't have to be dependent on the concrete large language model. We are using 
OpenAI, but Chat Anthropic is available as well. Let's take a look at how it's implemented. One important part of uh, call chain is where we create chart chat large language model and pass a streaming true to it. By default, it is using GPT 3.5 Turbo, but you are able to pass model name here. When we get a new token from large language model, we encode it and uh, write to the transform string. Then we create a prompt and provide a buffer memory to it. It's important to set return messages to true and of course to provide to provide the chat message history in the format that LangChain expects. Most likely that in production application persona and pass messages will be fetched from the database. After that, we are creating a conversation chain, then we are calling it with an input. It is important that we are not awaiting for the promise. Now let's click send again and go back to the editor. You can see that we are getting token after token after token and writing it to the transform stream, which gets passed to the client immediately as you can see in the UI. Let's remove the breakpoint and go back to the application. Last features are cosmetic. Auto scrolling is done with use effect hook and starting new chat just sets past messages to an empty array which otherwise would be populated through session storage. Thank you for watching.